I want to hear um, some your impressions and opinions about this year's International Short Festival Absolutely. in Sapporo. I was so impressed by all the films. Um, I always say that if I were a young director beginning right now, I don't know if I could compete because oh. so many of the films are so amazing and touching and well executed for, mm -hmm. from a production standpoint and the acting in it. But most of all, the stories that people are telling now are tend to be more complex and therefore more interesting. So um, right. mm -hmm. there were some very, very deep and very heavy material tackled and executed beautifully in the films mm -hmm. I saw. Um, and at the same time, there were some very funny ones this year. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and then and then a couple of them just looked like, you know, the best and most expensive movies out there. You know, oh. I just don't know how people get that kind of, you know, money to do a short, but mm -hmm. it's amazing that they do. Your favorite from Japanese film? It was, uh, Toshi, you're going to have to help me <laughs> remember. It was the one about the young girl uh -huh. in the rain giving a, um, uh, okay. a present to a young man who she was in love with. I thought it was one of the most exquisite short films I've ever seen in my career. Oh. Mm. I love, 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 mm. love, love, loved mm. it. Mm. So wow. very simple story. Yes, a simple story, but here is how I judge a film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't judge it by how big it is, how complex it is. I judge by what was the story they were telling mm -hmm. and what was the best way you could do that. So it okay. could be a complex story, a simple story, a story that requires you know a lot of big things in it or small things. And this was a simple story told in, in a exquisitely perfect way from the composition of every frame to the acting, to the colors that were chosen for the umbrellas. I mean, everything was perfect. So mm -hmm. I judge it on execution. Was it executed well? And it was executed, in my opinion, this short film, Absolutely perfectly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so she was so good. Do you know the filmmaker? Do you know the filmmaker? Um, the filmmaker didn't came to oh. the right to Sapporo, but the actors and the cameraman yes. they mm -hmm. came. Yeah, and, and they won an award. Yes. Mm. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. And I wish I could about, be there. Uh, I wish you were, you were here too. Um, they were talking about the the backstage of this movie. And um, it wasn't supposed to be raining at first. It was Isn't supposed to be a sunny day. <laughs> yeah, sunny day. Supposed to be sunny. No umbrella at all. But you know, they couldn't find any sunny day. So they decided to do it on a rainy day and they decided to have this red umbrella. And here they got the show. I mean, they- Well, you know, that, <laughs> that's prize. interesting because um, every time that I have been in a challenging situation mm -hmm. where I've had to change, especially in the last year, because of COVID restraints mm -hmm. or a production restraint is, you have to think out of the box and go, okay, what am I going to do differently? Mm -hmm. And can I do it better? And in this case, that's even more impressive that yes. they met yes. the challenge and they met it so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been to Sapporo uh, how many times? Two, I don't two, know, three, three times, I think. Three times, oh. three times. Okay. Well, Wanted to see you in person sometime. <laughs> yes, I would love to come back. Yeah, it's love to. Such a okay. special city. Uh -huh. Charlie and I, my husband came with me the last two times 
and we talk about our favorite places there, mm -hmm. you know, so often. I just finished a uh, television show uh, for Fox mm -hmm. TV that is about oh, a wow. very old and revered mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. on a island off of Massachusetts called Martha's Vineyard mm -hmm. that from the very beginning um, was mainly African-American. But okay. um, because it uh, has been around so long and mm -hmm. it is so... Um, uh, old in its ways and traditions, it's a very, very enviable community mm -hmm. to be able to live in. Okay. Um, and therefore, the traditions mm -hmm. are important. And uh, within those traditions, uh, there's a woman who was born into it, but her mother had to flee while she was mm -hmm. pregnant with this girl. And now the girl is returning as an adult. And it's called um, Our Kind of People. And Our it's based on an American book. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's quite, quite popular. And um, I just finished an episode and I'm very excited about it. In fact, the, the crew mm -hmm. called me today. They were, they're filming actually not off of Massachusetts on Martha's Vineyard. They're filming in a beach town on the East Coast, uh, but much further south where it's warm still because it's oh, very yeah. old in Massachusetts now, um, yeah. in North Carolina, in a town mm -hmm. called Wilmington, North Carolina. And they called me from the beach today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And they said, I, what I is the secret? You. They said, what is the secret to keeping the cameraman happy? And my answer was chocolate. <laughs> yeah, chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> the the answer really <laughs> well, the, 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 the cinematographer or the first cameraman and I would share pieces of chocolate. And <laughs> he always had his chocolate with a cup of coffee every day. So <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> that always works, yeah. <laughs> I've come to um, Sapporo to teach with my husband, Charles Doherty, um, who's a university professor here in the United States. Mm -hmm. He teaches both acting and teach, um, film production, um, as did I at um, mm -hmm. USC in the United States. We came and taught acting, and especially the difference between Japanese, what we understood from the Japanese actors in our class, um, there's sometimes a more traditional and more formal way of acting there, mm -hmm. which, yes. which is not very conducive to American, which is about mm -hmm. hyper-realism, which means mm -hmm. it has to be so true that when you look in the eyes, you can see every thought that the character is thinking, and you don't ever need to show anything, you just need to believe it inside. Because if you believe it, it will it will be shown in your thoughts and in the way your face expresses it. And you never try to control your face. Um, so it's always working from the inside out, never the outside in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've tried that, right? On the film. How many, is it the one we tried? Like we, um, I stood in front of the camera and- I remember this moment in the film. Oh, okay, okay. I Definitely. do, and it was so moving and so oh. very- yeah. That's why I say you're a very good actress. Oh my God. Any plans to come to the United States to try acting? I I want to. I really want to. Yes, I do. But due to COVID, you know, I can't really move right now. But if I have any chance, 
yes, I am <laughs> on the airplane. You know, back when I first possible. taught for um, uh, Creative Works in Fertoshi, I, um, the amount of roles for Asian actors or Asian American actors was very, 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 very small and limited. And in the last year, mm -hmm. it is it has just changed. There is so many opportunities now. Um, wow. It seems, and I don't know if if, if the international television market, like for mm -hmm. Netflix, mm -hmm. changed that so that mm -hmm. um, people want to see um, more Hispanic, more Black, more Asian, and and therefore people realize there's so there's not much difference you know mm -hmm. just because mm -hmm. you're from a different country we still have families we still have happiness we still have sadness we still have challenges raising our children we have parents who grow old you know all those themes that we make so many movies about are universal and you put them in the context of for instance minari mm -hmm. which is a very 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 popular movie about a Korean family in the United States, which was, you know, was Oscar worthy last year. So there's, there's, um, oh, and yeah, everyone yeah. related to it, not because of they were Korean, but it was because they were farmers and the grandmother came to live with them. And it was a three generations in the same house. And it was the struggle of trying to do something better for yourself. And we all experience those things. What, what do you think the position of actors in film? Like what positions are actors in film? You mean in terms of, in terms of the hierarchy, in terms of importance? Or not importance, but like, uh, what's their main job to? Their main job is to, is to dare mm -hmm. <laughs> and risk feeling the emotional life of the character that they they are playing. Mm -hmm. And if they do that successfully, then the audience will also feel that their pain, their happiness, their sadness, their challenges, mm -hmm. and enlighten their thoughts, the audience's thoughts about their own life. So they, they really become in some ways a mirror. Right. And if that happens, and it's interesting, um, I, I recently have seen uh, quite a few pieces of theater mm -hmm. that tell stories, but they tell it like a story. They say, this happened, then this happened, then this happened. And I find that when I see a play like that, I don't get emotionally involved. Mm -hmm. But when I see a character actually go through something, that's what makes me go, mm -hmm. and, I, and then I want to experience it and that's what really makes me cry or laugh or feel and and it's interesting because it's it's based on the old greeks um uh format for theater so it's it's the, it's it was a greek invention in terms of story and structure and it still works today wow from greeks Okay. Yeah, from Sophocles and Euripides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. They knew something. They were very smart. Uh, yeah, they were. Wow. So, 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 so. Uh, may I have some like comments? or uh, suggestion, suggestions or ideas to um, the young actors and young filmmakers? Well, I think today because of YouTube and mm -hmm. because of the fact that you can make a movie with a telephone, mm -hmm. 
that there's no reason that you that you shouldn't be exactly you shouldn't mm -hmm. be creating product all the time you know um a friend of mine said uh, if someone comes up to me and says i want to be a director he says back to them i want to see 12 movies in 12 months and you can make them all on your phone and the fact that's is yeah. you know if you have access to something more sophisticated that's wonderful but the fact but you know directors especially are storytellers and mm -hmm. you have to practice you will get better the more you practice at storytelling and for actors you know the more you practice how you know the different situations that you're in the better you will get so i think that the world will that we will see more successes out of people who create their own things and are what i call entrepreneurs that okay. people who are entrepreneur it's a person who starts their own business uh, okay. the business for you is sari <laughs> and and the selling of sari and for yes. people getting to know the magic of sari and what's the specialness of sari and if it's a it doesn't have to be long films either um i i have to tell you one of the best what we called webisodes i, I ever saw um, I saw 10 of them. They were 45 seconds long each. And yeah. they just tried to accomplish one little thing in each of them. And, mm. and thematically, it worked perfectly. So, mm. you know, it did. It, I, I made one of my short films. I made, I think, was less than six minutes long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, it, and it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know, it wasn't a scene. It was a, it was a movie. It, it told a story. Um, uh, and sometimes you can tell something, make a short film that is a proof of concept for a larger film if you have an idea for a larger film or television series.